Hey guys, this is Miles Cohn coming to you from the Amon Gearbach Training Center in Austria. Today we're going to do a quick demo of the brand new Ceramil DRS. So for this video we decided to use a demo head instead of an actual patient because, you know, with it being my first time operating such a system, <laughs> this guy's more patient. The coolest thing here is, is that we can start the scanning process with selecting the patient only. Creating the case is not absolutely necessary, so for me as a dentist, I can start directly with the scanning. With just a few clicks to define what should be scanned, and now I'm ready to go. The DRS scanner is really lightweight and fits so well into my hand. It also comes with two different scanning tip heights, one that's small and one that's larger, and this helps me to accommodate more people. Everything can be operated with the buttons on the actual scanner, so you don't even need a mouse for engaging in the scanning process. Once we've scanned the upper and the lower jaw, we will then scan the bite. The alignment and the contact points can then be checked afterwards in the software. It is possible to define the margin line in the scanning software, which could be of tremendous help for your dental technician if you decide that you're going to send the files to him or her. Afterwards, you will see an overview of all of the scans and the alignments. Click on finish and this will get you back to AG Live. So from here there's really two options. The scan files plus your other files, for example, pictures, radiographs, etc. Those can be shared via AG Live with a Ceramel partner lab to offer same-day dentistry for your patients. Or what I'm actually doing here now is that we are sending the files to the clinical CAD software to start the design process actually in the clinic. The crown will be adapted automatically to the antagonistic dentition in its natural shape under the consideration of the dynamical movements of the autoarticulator. One of the nice things is that I can do this right next to my patient and show him or her the final result of the restoration. In the blank library, the needed block can be chosen. Here I have selected solid DRS. The block is loaded fast and with the needed connector automatically. The machine has an HMI touch display with which the machine can be controlled very easily. In order to ensure that you have the correct color and the correct size of the block chosen, there is a code on the packaging that will be scanned with a very small scanner. Here I've decided to use a Zala DRS Speed Center Zirconia block, which is a multicolor block with a color gradient. In order to properly fix the block into the holder, there is a small tool that is provided that allows you to tighten the screw to the necessary torque. The crown is capable of being milled in only 15 minutes, so it's now possible to offer restorations during a single visit. The machine will let you know when the milling process is done. Once you've removed your zirconia crown from the machine, it can now be sintered in under 20 minutes. One of the nice features about this furnace is that it can be controlled with an external touch screen. So you just place the crown in the furnace and start the program. I'm quite impressed with the very precise fit on the die and the topography on the occlusal surface of this restoration. It's incredibly detailed. Once we have this part complete, we can now stain and glaze the crown for additional characterization.